Are you gonna friend me or not? Hey guys, how's it going? It's been a while as I normally say in just about every video, but it has. Just a quick update on me. I got back from America. I've moved to Rwanda. I start university in just a couple of weeks and I'm so excited. Yeah, that's it. I've been hearing a lot of things. Firstly, a lot of people saying that Facebook is dying. Facebook cannot die because I am the laziest friend on the planet and all my friends are scattered across the planet and I don't want to have to ask them individually. Hey, how are you? Oh, actually, I'm doing good. How did you do? Oh, no, I don't have time for that. I would just like to scroll through my timeline and instantly be updated on what my friends are getting up to without actually having to ask. So in today's video, on the topic of Facebook, I will be talking about all the people that you should unfriend. Because, you know, a lot of people complain that Facebook is really annoying, but if Facebook is annoying for you, it's your own damn fault because who are you adding as a friend? Facebook is literally a collection of your friends in one place. So if it's annoying, that's on you. First to tell you why I unfriend people is that I hate rising over the thousand friend mark because I ain't thirsty, firstly, to the people with like 5,000 friends. Like, do you even know that many people? I mean, like, I don't even know that many people. Granted, no, well, y'all need to just calm down. Unfriend, unfriend, no new friends. No new friends, no new friends. No, I'm just kidding. I found that the best way to unfriend people is on their birthdays. Always check who has a birthday on your Facebook profile. Firstly, it'll eliminate that guilt that you feel when you realize that two days afterwards you forgot to wish a good friend of yours happy birthday. So you just kind of either keep quiet or like awkwardly send a hey, happy belated birthday. Are you kidding me? That's not good enough. Kind of message. But secondly, it'll remind you of all the annoying people that you're friends with because everybody on Facebook has a birthday. Happy birthday. And friend, they won't even notice because they got so many nice messages coming their way. You're welcome. Yeah. All that aside, here are all the people that you should actually be unfriending. Now, be tough, be severe, cut the cord, move on with your life. Firstly, all the people at graduation. I know that a lot of the people who watch my videos have just graduated from high school, so to you guys, congratulations. You finally left. You left behind all the annoying people. You can unfriend them, willy-nilly. No regard for their feelings because nobody's gonna corner you in the hallway and ask you Hey, why did you unfriend me off Facebook? Think that you're a horrible person and I hope you die in internet hell And I hope you get trolled by 4chan And I hope that like nobody like retweets your tweets Betch Number two, people that I used to think were attractive that no longer are Admit it, admit it that somewhere along the line when you were a wee little lass and a wee little lad that you added people on Facebook that you genuinely thought were the bee's knees and who just sent fire to your uterus. Now they've grown up and I do feel like you are entitled to unfriend that person and don't feel bad about it. It's okay, not everybody gets better with age. <laughs> Number three, anyone who sends you Candy Crush requests more than once. Firstly, what are you doing with your life playing Candy Crush on Facebook? And secondly, no. Number four, anyone who sends you a poke. I'm sorry, what is this, 2007? I don't need to be poked. It means that you have taken time and effort to deliberately annoy me. Ain't nobody got time for that. You're probably the same type of person who like, will like a photo of mine from 2009, and I know that you've been creeping my timeline, and you are getting unfriended, sir, unless you are attractive. That's the way the world works, I'm sorry. Number five, anyone who posts song lyrics, I'm sorry, what are you, Drake? You don't need to tell us your sad sob story of life through lyrics, especially considering that they're not even yours. Yes, we've all heard the song. Yes, we all want to be fancy, but unfortunately, some of us happen to be basic. Sorry. Number six, the people who talk to you every time you're online. It's like, damn, so down. I literally just logged on. Hey. Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Like, yeah, so tell me, how's, like, how's life been? I feel like it's been ages since we chatted. I was like online two days ago and we chatted then as well. Am I missing something? Number seven is people who keep inviting me to events in other countries. Well, why don't you just add salt to my wounds, huh? I can't attend your event because I've moved to a new country and nobody's inviting me to events here. Kind of feels like you're pitying me right now and I don't want that. Number eight. That's not even an eight, but whatever. People who ruin television shows. I hate 
you. I found out what happened in episode 9 of Game of Thrones before I watched episode 9 of Game of Thrones. Why did you do that, man? Number something. People who act like they're famous for nothing. I am somebody who is trying to become known. But never once have I addressed my Facebook friends as my fans. They are my friends. I know them. So can you explain to me why you post Facebook photos and address them to your fans? My guy, you got like six likes on the photo. Who are you talking to? Who are these fans that you speak of? I don't know who you're acting sexy for, but you need to take that outside. That rant aside, people who don't have profile pictures, people whose profile pictures are photos of cats or famous people or logos. Same goes for people who call themselves Amanda Twinkle Bees Twinkle Toes Kelly Star Rockstar. That's not your name. And like, I understand the people who have nicknames on Facebook, but when you call yourself Twinkle Pixie Star Fairy Fly Swagger Daddy Buff Guy, you deserve to be banned. Number whatever else. OMG Africa! The type of people who pose with like starving children, like, oh, look at me, I'm saving the world. I am here on my trip to Africa, as you can see by the mountains and no buildings behind me. On to the next adventure in Africa. And I'm like, Ugh. Okay, I'm done with you, I'm done. Oh my god. People who can't spell. People who can't spell. Or people who will write an entire sentence and every first letter of every word is in capitals. No, stop that. You stop it. Stop it very much so. I like educated people. And if you're educated and you spell badly, then shame on you even more and I would double unfriend you and dislike and explode your profile page if I could, but I can't yet. And in general, the ghetto, ratchet, bundu, floozy, douchey types who clog up your timeline with unnecessary things. Scroll past if you hate your grandma! Scroll past if you hate Jesus! Scroll past if you hate puppies! Oh, let's take selfies for cancer! You are not allowed to perform this action. All of you are going to get put into a very big basket of and shoved off my internet page and I will see the last of you and my Facebook will be great simply because you are no longer there. Okay! <laughs> I'd actually recorded two videos, one which was the follow-up to the last video about America and another one, really cool one with my siblings, and then my laptop melted my memory card whilst it was in the memory card slot. So yeah! Thanks for watching, I will see you the next time that I upload a video. Are you gonna follow me or not? Are you gonna subscribe or not? Are you gonna... That's it. I will put all the links down below in the box thing there and you can just follow the instructions. It's not that hard. Don't worry Americans, there are warning labels. Tell me how you feel about people on Facebook. Regale me with your stories of the annoying types of people that you have or have not unfriended. That's it. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Bye.